Good evening. I would like to welcome you to the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society's Induction and Senior Recognition Ceremony. My name is Kelsey Beerling, and I have the honor of being the English Department Chair here at Upper Darby High School. Our membership is unique. We celebrate our love of the study of English, of reading and writing, of words, and the depth of meaning our language affords us. We have discovered, maybe even more so as a result of this past year, that reading is a passport to other worlds, and words are the vehicle that takes us there. While COVID-19 shut down the world around us, our membership continued to conduct business. We talked about books, we held watch parties, we elected officers, albeit virtually. This year, we recorded videos of ourselves reading children's books for the Kindergarten Center. We expanded our tutoring project to six district elementary schools. We continued to collect books for CHOP. NEHS never shut down. We just pivoted and adapted to a virtual world. Even as COVID-19 pushed induction from October to the spring, our new members intuitively adapted. As members of the National English Honor Society, you understand the importance of language, of reading, of the value of listening, and the significance of expression. You've proven yourselves capable of serious study of the English language and of pursuing truth in works of literature or in your own creative expressions of poetry or prose. Being a member of this organization and of the English community as a whole requires that you continue these efforts and prepare yourselves to take into the world the truths that you have found sharing with others, your joy and appreciation of our discipline. So what does it mean to be a member of an honor society? We know at a minimum it means to maintain the exemplary grade point average that is required for admission. And while we as a society always place a strong emphasis on academic performance, we also know that the world is filled with many smart people who do not always demonstrate the morals and ethics that are at the very core of Honor Society membership. As Honor Society members, you are the leaders of your class and represent the very best of our school. Let me be the first to congratulate our new officers and our inductees. Please welcome Adekor Alate to the podium for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join us in the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The NEHS motto, Yulast Shal Medara, is Old English for duty goes with honor. The motto represents one of the earliest forms of our language. It affirms and celebrates an obligation to use one's gift in service to others. Service to peers, school, and community are part and parcel of the NEHS mission. And indeed, in the grammatical structure of the Old English phrase, duty actually preceded honor. Tonight, each member will be formally installed as in the chapter. They have already received their certificates and pins. The certificate is an outward symbol of their membership in this fellowship. Their pin is an outward symbol of membership not just for today, but for years to come, displaying the emblem of the society. The royal and gold cord for seniors marks the colors of our society. The royal blue has long been associated with creativity and inspiration, and the gold represents excellence and nobility of spirit. The white carnation, given tr at traditional in-person ceremonies, has historically been a symbol of distinction and truth. The qualities these items represent are the cornerstones of this fellowship. On behalf of the NEHS, I present this charter to the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society. You, your members, and those who will follow are charged to accept it in the words of your motto, duty goes with honor. This charter carries with it a commitment to the mission of the founders of the society, to promote mastery of written expression, encourage worthwhile reading, and foster fellowship among students who excel in English studies. You are further charged to share your gifts by service to society and by fostering literacy. 
On behalf of the members, we accept this charter from the National English Honor Society. We dedicate our chapter to the goals of the society and our fidelity to the legacy left to us by our founders. May you find yourself, this chapter, and this school always responsive to the mission of the society to confer national distinction upon secondary school students for high school achievement in English language and literature, to provide through local chapters cultural stimulation in secondary school environments, to encourage interest in the English language arts, to promote exemplary character and good fellowship, and to serve society by fostering literacy. Will Rachel Halbin please stand? It will be the duty of the president to preside at all chapter meetings, to fill with the advice of the chapter advisor all appointive offices, appoint all committees, order drafts on the treasury, and exercise general supervision over the chapter's activities. Are you ready to assume the duties of your office? I am. We are now ready to install our officers for this year. Each officer has important duties, and each is, in his or her own sphere, responsible for the chapter's success. We first give charge to the Office of the Treasurer. Will Tammy Tran come forward? The Office of Treasurer is an important one, for you must accept the responsibility of receiving, recording, and distributing funds. It will be your duty to keep an accurate record of all monies paid into the chapter treasury. Working with the chapter advisor, you will pay all bills promptly so that the chapter maintains a reputation for honesty and efficiency. You will at all times be prepared to furnish information concerning the financial condition of the chapter. Are you ready to assume the duties for your office? I am. We shall now give the charge to the historian. Will Adekor Alate come forward? My fellow member, it will be your duty to keep record of all events in which our esteemed group participates. You will keep and add to the permanent record any and all clippings, rosters, programs, correspondence, pictures, etc. of our group. In years to come, when members now on the scene have gone, these permanent records will become a testament to what we have done to advance the study of English. Are you ready to assume the duties of your office? I am. We shall now give charge to the secretaries. Will Tasneem Siddiqua and Tina Jabane come forward? The secretary's duty is to keep an accurate record of all meetings of the chapter and, working with the vice president, to keep the membership record accurate and up to date. Working with our chapter advisor, you will be responsible for notifying members of meetings and keeping them informed of other chapter events. You will also be responsible for all communication between the chapter and the school, other chapters, and any other persons. Are you ready to assume the duties of your office? We, we are. We shall now give charge to the Vice President. Will Ume Siddiqua come forward? It is the duty of the Vice President to perform all the duties of the President in his or her absence and to cooperate with him or her to provide promote the chapter's interests. It is also your duty to prepare and instruct inductees for the induction ceremony and to serve, with the chapter advisor, as program co-chair. Working with the treasurer, you are to maintain accurate membership records for the chapter. Are you ready to assume the duties of your office? I am. Let us welcome our new NEHS officers. This special meeting of the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society is called to order. Have we any new business before us? We have. The Chapter Treasurer is recognized. Madam President, I have the honor of bringing forth before you and the membership and our honored guests, candidates seeking membership in the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society. You may present the candidates. Madam President, I have the honor of bringing forth before you and the membership and our honored guests, candidates seeking membership in the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society. Each has satisfied all chapter requirements for membership. Madam Treasurer, have these candidates satisfied all of the requirements for membership? Each has satisfied all chapter requirements for membership. Madam Secretary, are there membership documents in order? Yes, each, each has, has membership, membership documents, documents in, order. in order. Candidates, having been presented by the Vice President, 
verified by the Treasurer and Secretary, and approved by the General Membership, you may now take upon yourselves the honors and obligations of membership in the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society. Only persons of high scholarship in English are admitted to our fellowship. We join with others from across the country in celebration of all the fields of English and in acknowledging that a life in which literature and good writing are a significant part is a life worth living. To accept membership in the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society, you must say your name as you sign the permanent role of this chapter. It is the first part of your ongoing legacy to the officers and members who shall follow in years to come. Amber Fianga. Charlotte Wismer. Sahir Anzam. Fatiha Azmi. Kosonike Barnes. Olinka Barnes Lamia Begum Angela Boki Maima Bogar Kenneth Bruce Gia Queso Olivia Chamberlain Autumn Cuff Frank D. Danielle Rafif Al Said Nor Farsin Anna Fatizo Nicholas Vitizo
Tessa Ford. Zane Foster. Aiden Gallo. Anna Masan. Nahid Hassan. Juliana Juan. Nayab Iqbal. Rakaya Iqbal. Hasanatu Kamara. Amelia Kaplan. Jasleen Carr. Natalie Keller. Randy Lane. Olivia McConnell. Molly McGee. Michaela McKenney. Cora Moeller. Na Nikoi. Renee Purnell. Jasmine Rashid. Sana Saad. Prince 
sing. Nishat Tazneen. Alex Tai Jocelyn Tito Timothy Tran Khadija Umer Faith Weaver Lakana Yi Nora Zakreski Samia Zareen Sarah Abbott Zainab Ahmed Josh Charles Denise Sisko Cordelia Coppola Hongtho Dang Michaela Dara Caitlin Doe Curtis Everett Amrinder Carr Simranjit Carr Kimberly Liu
Daniel McBride, Emily Namavong, Davina Nyanpan, Sneha Phillip, Sayo Sano, Ivan Series, Alishba Shazad, Ruchira Sinha, Maggie Smith, Lauren Stokes, Maimona Teluctor, Catherine Tran, Ethan Wharton, Martha Williams, and Alvina Yusha. I now declare you to be members in full standing in the Royal Oak Chapter of the National English Honor Society. We welcome you into the fellowship of this chapter and to the larger fellowship of members throughout the country. It is now my honor to welcome the Assistant Principal for the Class of 2021, Mrs. Stephanie Sytak. At this moment, I would like to recognize all of our senior NEHS recipients. We are very honored to be able to bestow this upon you. We expect that you will excel and make us proud as you continue to honor the tradition of National English Honor Society for the Class of 2021. The cord you are about to receive is a symbol of the ties that you have, you have to the English National Honor Society, your high school and your community. It also serves as a reminder of the obligation that you have as a member of NEHS to promote your love of literature and language in all you do. Wear it with pride at your graduation. Sarah Abbott. Nashin Ahmed.
Zainab Ahmed, Adakur Alate, Hena Ansari, Josh Charles, Tina Chibane, Denise Cisco, Cordelia Coppola, Hongtho Dang, Michaela Dara, Eleni Dimitriadis, Jack DiPrimio, Caitlin Doe, Curtis Everett, Lucy Fakad. Dylan Ford, Jessica Gian, Cassidy Gorman. Rachel Halbin, Richard Hims, Asifal Islam. Terrell Jenkins, Amrinder Carr,
Harvier car. Simranjit car. Cassidy Kong, Chris Kruba, Rhea Kumar, Kimberly Liu, Daniel McBride, Mia McMullen, Emily Namavong, Jessica Nguyen, Davina Nyanpan, Sneha Philip, Zaheen Saz, Sayo Sano, Emma Skelton, Yvonne Series. Alishba Shazad, Ashika Sharma, Ume Sadika Tasneem Sadiq Rupali Singh Ruchira Sinha, Amy Smith,
Maggie Smith. Lauren Stokes. Maimona Teluctor. Ava Tarone, Catherine Tran, Tammy Tran. Ethan Wharton, Martha Williams, Alvina Yusha. Thank you. Members, parents, faculty, administration, honored guests, for being here this evening and helping us celebrate our inductees and our seniors. May our seniors go forth and share their love of English. May our inductees remain true to our motto, Ye last shall midar. Thank you.